And welcome back to Positively Milwaukee. I have a very special guest with me today. Tony Kearney is the executive director of Northcott Neighborhood House, which is organizing the Juneteenth Parade and festivities. And he's been a very busy man, Tony. Now, first of all, I know I appreciate you being taking time to come over here and talk to us. Can you talk about the significance of Juneteenth for people that might not be aware? Juneteenth is important to the community because one, it exposes everyone to our culture and our history. It's an American history. It didn't start in 1865. It started with the first Africans coming to America. If we believe history, the first man to die for the freedom of the country was Christmas Addicts. So we have been woven into American history throughout. Unfortunately, on June 19, 1865, General Granger and his troops had to ride in and enforce, not only deliver a message that the slaves were free, they had to enforce freedom. That's a part of history. The reality is that African American history is an important component of American history. Mm -hmm. And history we have to recognize other. the enslavement, and that is a very important part of how our country was built, and we have to always remember that. Talk. Yes, Ma many people are not aware that the slaves built the White House. And even in writing the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson owned slaves. Um, but there have always been people who didn't believe that slavery was right, not just us. You know, the over thousand slave uprisings in our history said that, hey, we don't want to be in bondage. But there were also other people who did not believe that human beings should be in bondage. Yeah, there were people that had a moral compass, you know. And, yeah. and Tony, first of all, okay, I want to talk about Juneteenth, Juneteenth and what's happening, uh, because we have a lot of exciting, unique things happening this year. Can you share with us some of the things that you've been working on so feverishly yeah. over the past few weeks? Well, Juneteenth kicks off with our Jubilee Parade. A uh, young man named George Apkin is the chairperson of the parade committee. Um, he, at this point, has about 105 entrants. This year, there will be floats, bands, dance groups, and a competition, which they can actually win cash at. Um, so the judges will be stationed at Five Corners, which is Port Washington, Keith, Green, um, Martin Luther King, I was about to say Green Bay. Uh, so they'll be there, and they'll get to do their little performance there. Um, then we'll have our opening ceremony. At that point, we'll introduce Miss Juneteenth and her court again, and the fathers that we're honoring, because this year Juneteenth falls on Father's Day, and it's important for us to honor fathers. So that's one of our big things, to make sure that we do that. Uh, I'm the, glad you're doing that, too, on Father's Day. It's yeah, perfect. Yes. It's something that we need to do. Now, Tony, can I, this is something that really brings the community together. People look forward to it, and it's something that we can actually give our kids a, a message that, you know, we can come together and we have an important, rich history. Can you talk about handing that tradition down, Tony? Well, the tradition of, hand, of, of always being with grandma, grandpa, and mm -hmm. them exposing you to, I will say, our oral history. Yeah, good um, Now we're able to teach our kids exactly what it means. Uh, the last year we started a carnival, which was not really the start. It was bringing something back mm -hmm. that Juneteenth had many years ago. But we brought the educational component to the carnival um, rides. Uh, they'll be exposed to horsemen and um, the soldiers being there, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's really important for them to see part of our history. Uh, we have Clinton Rose Park will be set up for teens. And one of the great things about that is law enforcement will be engaged with the teens basketball tournaments, um, it's going to be a hula hoop tournament, a double dutch tournament. But everything will focus on our history, our culture. We want folks to walk away having had a great time, 
but having a better understanding of African American history and African American culture because it is American culture. Absolutely. And it's, it's something that Milwaukee is very proud of. And we have been putting on these celebrations. Uh, forget yeah. the pandemic, but they've been going on and they've been very important. And I think yes. it's something that everybody takes pride in. So uh, I know you're, you've been working very hard lately, but uh, congratulations on getting all of this together, Tony, because yes. it's hard. Well, the Northcott team has worked hard and we have a lot of members of the Juneteenth committee that are not Northcott employees. They're citizens that work around the city. Yes. They're both African American and European American. So we're all coming together to make this one thing happen because we have one Milwaukee and we have one America. What perfect way to, to end the segment, Tony. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon and you're all invited. So we look yes. forward to it. Thank you so much.